Hi everyone and welcome back to the S&P Saga, your weekly recap of the S&P 500 index. Elon Musk was the big winner this week as his company delivered fantastic results. Okay, well we've got those Tesla results to bring you and Phil Lebeau has the numbers for us. Phil. Morgan, this is a solid beat on the bottom line for the third quarter for Tesla, earning 72 cents a share. The estimate out on the street was for earnings of 58 cents a share. Revenue coming in just a little bit shy of expectations at 25.18 billion. The street was expecting 25.37 billion. We're just starting to dig through the numbers. We'll get you those auto gross margins, excluding the zero emission vehicle credits. But again, Tesla beating the street on the bottom line, earning 72 cents a share. 14 cents better than what the street was expecting. We'll reveal the winners and losers that drove 20% of the index performance and which companies will announce earnings next week. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to understand how individual stocks impact the S&P 500. Let's jump right into this week's review. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,809.86 cents, down 0.9% from last week and losing 762 billion of market cap. The P/E ratio, based on current price and the latest earnings, stands at 29.66 down 0.16 points since last week. Let's go to your gainers. Tesla is up 154.9 billion or 22% after providing better than expected earnings and 20 to 30% sales growth guidance in 2025 on its quarterly call. Nvidia up 86.8 billion or 2.6% on continued excitement about the company's prospects. Microsoft is up 74.3 billion or 2.4% as the company deployed its new AI agents. Alphabet is up 23 0.9 billion or 1.2% as the company's Waymo unit just raised 6 billion for expanding its robo taxi service. Philip Morris up 15 billion or 8% as the company reported strong quarterly results on strong Zen demand. Walmart is up 9.6 billion or 1.5% on no specific news. Texas Instruments up 7.5 billion or 4.1% as the company provided better than expected forecasts in its Q3 report. LAM Research up 6.3 billion or 6.6% on better than expected guidance for future quarters. ServiceNow up 6.1 billion or 3.2% as the company reported reported better guidance than anticipated and announcing that it poached its new COO from Google. GE Vernova is up 5.7 billion or 7.5% on better than expected revenue for the quarter. Moving on to your losers. Apple is down 54.6 billion or 1.5% on no specific news. Broadcom is down 32.2 billion or 3.8% as a New York state judge ordered the company to continue to provide services to AT&T. Lilly is down 24.1 billion or 2.8 percent on increased legal action against substitute products. Berkshire Hathaway is down 23.6 billion or 2.4 percent on no specific news. Danaher is down 20.9 billion or 10.5 percent on a low guidance provided during its Q3 2024 results. Thermo Fisher Scientific down 18.1 billion or 7.9 percent on mixed Q3 results that missed unexpected revenue. Visa down 17.7 billion or 3.1 percent on no specific news. McDonald's down 16.9 billion or 7.4 percent as the CDC warned about an E. coli outbreak related to the company's burgers. IBM is down 16.3 billion or 7.6 percent on weaker than expected revenue for future quarters. Home Depot down 16 billion or 3.9 percent on no specific news. This week there were no changes announced to the S&P 500. Q3 2024 earnings season continued as more companies reported earnings. With 108 members members releasing earnings last week and 334 companies now left to report. 152 S&P 500 members will release earnings during the week ending November 1st, 2024. And the most interesting will be Alphabet or Google, American Tower, Visa, McDonald's, Pfizer, AMD, Stryker, and Chubb on October 29th. Meta, Microsoft, Lilly, Avi, Caterpillar, Booking Holdings, Amgen, and ADP on October 30th. Amazon, Linda, Apple, Southern Company, ConocoPhillips, Mastercard, Merck, Comcast, Uber, Eaton, Bristol Myers Squibb, and Regeneron on October 31st. Finally, Exxon and Chevron will be reporting on November 1st. Which company do you think will top the list next week and why? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our weekly updates. To find out why Apple and Nvidia were up last week, you should watch this video next.